Hey guys, what's going on? John here for another Magic the Gathering video. And in this video, I'm gonna be opening up an Aether Revolt bundle in a hunt for uh, some inventions. <clears throat> and uh, I just wanna say that you should be picking up these bundles because uh, unlike booster boxes, which aren't truly randomized, these bundles, in fact, are. So I have pulled two masterpieces from one bundle before. These bundles, whereas the booster boxes of Aether Revolt have jumped up to like $150, these bundles are $30. Um, like, you can find them on Amazon, on eBay, for that cheap. And um, so, I mean, I'm just going to start opening this so I don't have too long of a video time and now I'm realizing I probably, you know, should have unsealed this bundle before I started the video. Um, but that's okay, you know? I, I got it. Um, so yeah, you guys really should start picking up these either Revolt bundles because honestly, I think they're eventually gonna go up in price because of the, the valuable masterpiece cards in these things. But, um, definitely, while wow, they're still at $30, there is no reason to not pick up these bundles. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna push the rest of the bundle towards the back, just so we don't have to, uh, deal with it. 13. Oh! Um, I'm not even kidding. These last couple of videos, I have really <laughs> um, begun to predict things. Like, I predicted a Liliana in that Corset 2019 video. Sorry for the spoilers if you haven't seen it, but I did. So it's like, okay. Dang, apparently I'm a prophet now. All right, um, I'm just gonna skip through the commons. All right, we've got Untethered Express, Foundry Hornet, Consulate Dreadnought, and Baral, Chief of Compliance. Already a pretty good card with a forest and, oh God, one of those things. Um, we all know how I feel about those things. I'm just gonna put the commons and non-commons together because I don't think any of them are worth much. And yeah, sure, that can go in the tokens pile. But yeah, Baral is good deck. Uh, in pretty much every format um, right now. Well, not every format. What am I saying? I don't know. Um, but it's a pretty good deck in Commander. And hold on, I should go through the uncommons. Deadeye Harpooner, Hungry Flames, Windkin Raider. The rare is the Heart of Kiran, which is a mythic. Legendary Artifact Vehicle, 4-4 four, four, Flying Vigilance, Crew 3 for 2. And you may remove a loyalty counter from a Planeswalker you control then rather than pay its crew cost. Which is pretty interesting. Um, <clears throat> so, Brawl decks and Commander have been doing pretty well. Um, I think there's some modern Brawl decks that have been putting up some points or decks that run Brawl. In, um, in very counter-heavy decks. Um, so yeah, Brawl is always good to pull. Alright, we've got a Deadeye Harpooner, Ridge Scale Tusker, Hidden Stockpile, and an Oath of a Johnny. Um, it's a pretty good card for uh, Super Friends. I know one of my friends has been looking for that for a Super Friends deck. So Griffin, if you're watching this video, I have your Oath of a Johnny. Uh -huh. So, yep, yeah. um, yeah, let's just keep going through the cards now, I ran out of things to talk about. Uh, we've got the Invigorated Rampage, Salvage Scuttler, Spire Patrol with a Consulate Crackdown, Story Spotlight. With an Ethereum Cell. Artifact. I always thought those were interesting. 
only, I don't think I've pulled more than one before. When I was just getting back into Magic uh, in early 2018, I mean, I've played since 2014, but I took a break from like 2016 to early 2018. And so when I was just getting back into it, I got a couple packs of either revolt. Um, so I think that's where I got my Ethereum cell, and I thought it was interesting. Uh, we've got a Cogwork Assembler, Salvage Scuttler, Sly Requisitioner, and a Green Belt Rampager with a Foil Deadeye Harpooner. Okay. So it's a one mana paying energy counters. Oh, that's really interesting, actually. That seems like it could be pretty good in energy counter heavy decks. But... You know, you don't know. You don't know. Putting the foils up there because I didn't leave myself with enough room. Okay. Um, yeah, Rogue Refiner, Gremlin Infestation, Pima Ether Seer with a Scrap Trawler. Okay. That was a big part of the KCI decks uh, before this... Well, not this boy. This boy's a dump band, but KCI, in fact, is. So, yeah, that's no fun. Um, the Scrap Trailer really hasn't been doing much. I mean, KCI, I have watched it. It's a very tough combo to pull off, I think. Um, I watched some videos on it because I didn't fully understand it myself. But then, um, yeah, I kind of understood after a little. Um, we've got a Renegade Rallier, Invigorated Rampage, Thopter Arrest, interesting, and an Either Tide Whale. See, I mean, it can bounce itself for four of the six energy counters it gives. Interesting, interesting. I mean, I feel like that could be a tempo deck kind of thing, but I don't, I'm pretty sure that thing never... Never caught on. 6 4 for 6. It has like an upside that's not really relevant in many decks. Um, it's just not super great. Um, okay. We've got the Mole Fist Revolutionary. Crackdown Construct. Ooh, Fatal Push. And a Free Jam Regent. Okay, Fatal Push. There we go. That is a great card. So, uh, I'm quite happy we pulled that. We got two more packs left. I just threw one off the table. Um, that's great. Ooh, this one's tough to open. So, like I was saying earlier, I started getting back into Magic early 2018. When uh, a couple of my friends at school started playing, and I was like, oh, hey, I played that game before. And then I was like, okay, this is interesting. I'll keep playing. And then now I've kind of become, you know, really into this game. Um, Hidden Herbalists. Reckless Racer. Efficient Construction with a Hope of Giripur. Within Island. That's my second Hope of Giripur. This thing is... I mean... I get that, I mean, I don't know, though. It's just kind of interesting. Target player who's dealt combat damage can't cast non-creature spells. I mean, sure, against control decks, but it's just very, very strategic, I think. And the strategy it's used in is just not great. Okay, we've got Untethered Express, Ironclad Revolutionary, Aerial Modification, Either Jode Miner, and a Foil Front Mine Rebel. Well, okay, so uh, we have not hit a masterpiece quite yet, but, but, there's always time. Now that these are so cheap. Um, and I did get some pretty good pulls. We got Baral, Heart of Kiran, we got a Fatal Push. Um, you know, 
So I don't think this was too bad of a pack opening, although in, it's either revolt, so it's kind of miss or hit. Wait, hit or miss. It's hit or miss. Oh my, I can't even talk anymore. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to smash that like button. And, um, yeah, just, you know, place your finger over that subscribe button and hit that one too. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later.